Hi, my name is Brian Smith, and this is video 5 of my Rel for Edge series. In video 4, I covered how to do a manual image rollback, and in this video, I'll be covering automating rollbacks with Greenboot. Greenboot can run custom health scripts at boot to determine if an image update caused an issue, and if so, it can automatically roll the system back to the previous image. I've built a new Rel for Edge system using my original Rel for Edge image that was created in the first video with a commit hash that starts with CBF. This is the image that contains the corn shell. I'll start by displaying the green boot readme file. It shows that health check scripts that must not fail, or in other words, health checks that will result in the image being rolled back to a previous version, should be placed in etsy green boot check required.d. There's also an etsy green boot check wanted.d directory, and scripts in here can fail and they will not result in the image being rolled back. However, if one of these wanted scripts fails, Greenboot will log that the script failed. Scripts that will be run after a successful boot should be placed in etsy greenboot green.d, and scripts that will be run after a failed boot should be placed in etsy greenboot red.d. The system will attempt three boots, so the scripts in the red.d directory could attempt to make corrective action on the system to fix the problem. The readme file also shows how health checks can be done with systemd services rather than shell scripts. Okay, I'll go ahead and run rpm os tree status again, and you'll see that I'm on the original image that starts with CBF and which contains the corn shell. On my image builder host, I currently have a container running that is serving up an updated image where the corn shell is removed and the Z shell was added, which is how everything was set up in video 3. I'll go ahead and run a RPM OS tree upgrade preview where you can see that updated image that is available. In this example, the corn shell is a requirement for the system as there's a script running on here that depends on the corn shell. So what I'd like to do is set up a green boot health check that will check to see if the corn shell is available and if it's not, it'll fail and cause the system to be rolled back to the previous image. To do this, I'll create a script called ksh.sh in the etsy green boot check required.d directory. The script will check to see if the user bin ksh file is present and if so, we'll have a zero exit code which is considered a success. If the file is not found, it'll have a exit code of one and any non-zero exit code is considered a failure. And I'll go ahead and make that script executable. I'm also going to create a second script in the etsy greenboot red.d directory called bootfail.sh. Remember that greenboot will run scripts in the red.d directory when the system has had a failed boot. This script will write some information out to the greenboot.log file. Keep in mind in the event of an issue the system will make three boot attempts so this type of script could also attempt to make some corrective actions on the system to fix whatever the issue might be. And I'll go ahead and make that script executable as well. Next, I'll go ahead and update the system with the RPM OS tree upgrade command. Then I'll go ahead and run an RPM OS tree status. As you can see, the updated image starting with the 807 commit hash is now the default boot option as it is at the top of the list. So I'll go ahead and reboot the system and it'll boot off of this 807 commit that does not contain the corn shell. And I'm expecting that Greenboot will detect that this is an issue based on the health check script that I created and that it will automatically roll the system back to the image that I'm on right now. Okay, the system is attempting the first boot, and you'll notice that the boot entry is on OS tree colon zero, and it's going to boot up and run our corn shell green boot health check, which should fail, at which point it's going to reboot again. Okay, you can see it rebooted. This is going to be the second boot, and it's still on OS tree colon zero. It's going to boot up again. And again, it's going to run the green boot health check script for corn shell, which will fail again. Okay, you can see it rebooted again. This is going to be the third boot, and it's still on OS tree colon zero in the bootloader. This is the third and final attempt it will make on this new image that we are attempting to boot. And the corn shell script will fail again, and the system will reboot. But notice this time the bootloader is now showing OS tree colon 1, which is our previous image. So at this point, green boot has automatically rolled back to the previous image and it's going to boot up now off the old image and boot up successfully.
Okay, you can see we've made it to the login screen here. So I'm gonna switch over to a different window and SSH into the system and we'll take a look around. I'll go ahead and sudo back to the root account and run RPM OS tree status. As you can see, the system has rolled back to the original image starting with CBF. The asterisk shows that this is the currently booted image and is at the top of the list, meaning it is the default bootloader option. Let's take a look at the log file that was created by our boot file script that was in the red.d green boot directory. As you can see, the system made three attempts to boot with a new image, and each time the boot counter was decreased. Greenboot then rolled the system back to the previous image. I can also run systemctl status, greenboot status, and see that it logged that a fell back boot was detected. This video covered how to automatically roll back a rel for edge update using Greenboot. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.